Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here. Today we're making a terrific tuna melt sandwich. I'm not the biggest canned tuna fan, but they've come a long way, especially the kind we're using. You can use cheddar cheese or American cheese in this case, but I'm using American cheese because that's what I had on hand. This sandwich is easy, delicious, and makes for a wonderful lunch, maybe with a nice salad and a few potato chips. So let's do what we do and make it happen. Got some celery, parsley, sourdough bread, red onion, mayo, cheese, and the star tuna. Now we have some butter here. You want to make sure that your butter is soft so you can spread it on your bread with no problem. This is the best way to make grilled cheese sandwiches is to make sure that the butter is soft and you spread it on beforehand. You can put the butter in the pan and spread it around and put your bread in. That way, that is true. But for the best coverage, it's best to spread it on the bread. Although, I've been caught doing it the other way. We have some celery and parsley, and I'm gonna cut these guys up. Now, I just want really small pieces. Keep those fingers out of the way and go to work. Tuna mills are a great way to use canned tuna in a tasty way. This parsley and celery was washed. Guys, we have a red onion here. We're gonna use that. Red onions have some sweetness to them, and that's perfect for this. And while I'm cutting this onion, I wanna tell you that you can also add a little sweet pickle relish to this. Maybe the outside does look reddish. And then when you peel it, it looks purple. I guess so. I'm gonna put in here is some mayo. Then we're gonna add our red onion, our celery, and our parsley. Next thing we're gonna add is our tuna fish, but we have to drain it first, and we have to drain it really, really well. Now after it's drained, it'll look like this. Now I'm gonna add half of this can to my mixture here. I really like this tuna, good stuff. And we're just gonna break it up and mix it into our mayo, onion, parsley, celery. If you're using this sweet dill pickle relish, sea salt, and then twist the pepper. Now guys, we're just gonna set this aside. Now I have some sourdough bread here. This is Arnold's country style sourdough. It's pretty good. But of course, if you make your own from scratch, it will be much better. So we have our bread and we have our butter and we're just going to butter one side of each. Be generous. Now we have our trusty pan. And we're going to put this over low heat. 
because we don't want our sandwich cooking too fast. So we're gonna get one piece of bread in here, like that. Then we're gonna add our cheese. You can use cheddar or American or whatever you into. Now, we're gonna add that tuna mixture, which is basically just like a little tuna salad. That's all that is, really. This will be a good time to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Then you want to spread that out evenly. Now we cover it with the buttered side up. We're just going to let it cook. It's going to get golden brown and delicious. And then we're going to flip it to the other side. And it should be nice. Guys, look how even the crust is. That's from putting that butter on the way we did and not cooking everything as fast as we can. Guys, it's ready. This sounds just perfect. There you go guys, a beautiful tuna melt. You can find this and other fine recipes at chefkendra.weebly.com. That's chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. And that's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra's out. Peace.